This is a test kit instruction video on the Great Plains Laboratory urine test. First thing we need to do is we're going to look over the um, requirements before you start this test. We're going to give you a test kit. We have several tests that we give out with Great Plains, so you're going to look on the side here at the test kit that we give you, and we will highlight which test that you're taking home. Then you're going to go over and look at the items that you need to discontinue up to 48 hours in advance. So make sure you always look what you need to avoid depending on the test that we're giving you. You're also going to limit your liquid intake the night prior to collection because it will dilute your sample. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over what you do when you start the test. First thing you're going to do is you're going to put this freezer pack this in your freezer and freeze this because this needs to be frozen for at least four hours before you ship off your sample. When you go to collect your urine, you're going to want to fill to the line, 10 milliliter line at the very minimum. It's okay if you go over, but do not go below 10 milliliters. Once you screw the cap on tightly, you're going to put this urine cup Fill out all your information on the side, name, birth date, and then you're going to put this piece of paper and the urine cup into this tightly sealed plastic bag. Once you seal that, you're going to put the freezer pack along with all of this and you're going to put it in this thermal bag. You're going to fold this thermal bag and you're going to place it in this box. You're going to take the test requisition sheet. I've highlighted in green what you need to fill out. It's already been paid for through Dr. Emily's office. So after you've put all the testing kits and bags in this box, you will then put this test requisition form on top. You'll put that in this FedEx box. And this is already prepaid where it's going. You're going to want to take this FedEx package either to a FedEx location or you can call the FedEx number and you're going to have them pick it up. That's all that you need for the test. Please note that there is a phone number for this lab. If you have additional questions that are not in this video or you do not read, please call the lab for questions. Thank you.